go Doctor Who. And if you don't, then you can go. Right, hello guys, watching Go Doctor Who, and today we have another video from the channel. Um, so yeah, we're going to talk about the saddest mo uh, companion departure, in my opinion. Woo. So we've got here Donna Noble's ending. I this is the saddest one in my opinion. You've got Rose. I love you. And I'm a... And then you've got her in series four. She's kissing the tenth doctor. Not that sad. I mean it was sad as when I was a kid, you know, I was seven years old watching Rose go and I was like, Oh, I don't want Martha. I think she's not Rose. But you know what? I think Donna's ending's more sadder than that. Martha went out on her own turns, not sad, just to salute, well done to you Martha, sticking up for yourself. Donna, definitely sad. What have we got after Donna? Um, oh yeah, Amy Pond. Raggedy man, goodbye. <laughs> Rory didn't even get a goodbye. <laughs> um, that can be sad, I guess, if you love Amy's character quite a lot. Uh, Clara's one was, was actually sad, I had a tear in my eye. It, it was just sad, but you know. Um, so that comes close. Um, next door, oh yeah, Bill's one was sad as well, you know, that was a sad one. Um, yeah, so, Donna's one. Donna's exit is the saddest one in my opinion, because she's come a long way. She's come a long way from her teleporting in the TARDIS and going, what? 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 No, that's like David Tennant, isn't it? What? What are you doing here? You know, um, it's come a long way from her um, Martian man or Martian boy to suddenly the respect and the temp doctor and their chemistry blossoming. I can't say the word. Blossoming. That's the one. Blossoming as a friendship. And that's the best thing with Donna. They're just friends. And they're blossoming quite well. They're having banter. They're laughing. But the doctor knows to not step on Donna's toes because she will bite your head off quite literally but also donna will uh listen to the doctor because he knows time travel you know she will also fight back on the 10th doctor but she knows when to listen to him and when to not and to tell him off you know and she's come a long way to then get to the ending of davros and her actually saving the universe flicking some buttons she still did it though even if it was a cop out flicking a few buttons she still did it. She saved the universe out of all the companions that were there. She was the one to help out. And she turned into the Doctor Donna, which was a lovely little cliff ending. But the ending, when she, all the companions that went, the Daleks were destroyed, Davros was like, I name you forever, destroyer of worlds. You know, that was, that was awesome and epic. Epic, one of my favourite stories this is. But the ending, we're talking about the ending here, and um, she's repeating herself, her mind's blowing up a bit, she's the Doctor, in a way, and the Doctor knows the Metacrisis cannot happen, it can't happen, because she can't cope in her head, she's going to die, so the Doctor needs to wipe her mind of all that's destroying her mind, which is everything to do with the Doctor. So she needs to get needs to get all that knowledge out, and she, doing that she sacrifices losing all her adventures, and kind of like a razor, like a rubber, she's slowly getting rubbed away. All that, uh, all that chemistry, all that um, stuff she's doing with the Doctor is slowly rubbed away and put back to day one, where she's a bit more like what and oi, what are you doing and stuff like that, and she's on the phone and she's just doesn't even look at the doctor twice when he's saying goodbye and it's so heartbreaking to see and she doesn't want to go she's like no please th please don't make me go ah and then she you just see all the visions of her all the all the adventures they had and then she falls to sleep and wilf is left to look after her bless him and um yeah that's the end of donna a chapter she loses her mind because of this and it is one of the saddest scenes going because you just love Donna. It's not. It doesn't help that she's my favourite companion. So maybe that's why this is the saddest in my opinion. But I would say uh, the Bill and Clara's uh, endings were pretty close to this as well. But yeah, Don uh, Donna's ending is quite sad. And the fact that she doesn't die, she gets to live on is a lovely little thing. But also is it, it's not fair. She loses her mind. She lo All these people she's helped. She won't be able to remember it. And Wolf is left to look after her. 
if anyone could look after anyone, you'd love it to be Wilf. Come on, Bernard Cribbins, lovely guy. In fact, I've met him. There he is, and I've met Donna Noble there, and I've met her mom. They're all lovely people in real life. Uh, I'm just gonna do that. So you've got here yeah, Bernard Cribbins, you've got Catherine Tate, and you've got her mom there. So I've met the Donna Noble family. Just want to, I don't know why, I just wanted to gloat about that. I met Donna's family. And um, it's just brilliant. They're just brilliant people. And I don't know why I'm talking about them because I'm talking about the ending. But, you know. So, yeah, this is just the saddest ending. I just wanted to talk about it a bit. You know, it's just the saddest ending for a companion, in my opinion. And it will continue to be that until they do something more sad, I guess. But, yeah, that's my thoughts and my opinion. Let me know your saddest companion departure or saddest ending in Doctor Who. Let me know down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Get a little bell so you don't miss a video. And subscribe to Dot 2 because we are... Not far away from 300 subscribers. It'd be amazing if we could get there before the end of the year. And I'll see you guys for a new video very soon on rankings, top 10s, theories, and review of Daleks, a resolution. Then special that's coming out either Christmas or Boxing Day. Not Boxing Day, New Year's Day or Christmas. I'll be reviewing that. So stay tuned on the channel. And I'll see you guys for a new video very soon. Have a nice day.